Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to be doing an overview of the Firelight MS4 conventional panel. This is a four zone panel. It is conventional, so none of these units on here are addressable. Currently, I have it hooked up to an FCI MS2 pull station and a SIGCOM. This one will set it off when I open it. Um, so let me disable zone one before I open that. I gotta remember how to disable it. No, oh, down there. So I'll acknowledge that. It is a SIGCOM <clears throat> SG32 SK1. Now this panel came from uh, my church. I was able to get it. They upgraded. Why? You know, the iPhone 7 really sucks at focusing. It is horrible. Um, this came from my church. They got it, or I got it when they upgraded the panel. Um, these two pole stations are from when they remodeled my high school. I was able to go around the old building I pretty much take any device I wanted. Uh, these three alarms, they're all Gentex Commander 2s. Currently they're set to Chime, I believe. And I ordered those online. And so now let's dive into the panel again. You've got all these different modes you can program. On the side here, it tells you what they do. These are these dip switches right here. Normally there's a cover. This is the cover that comes installed over it. You can take it off. That's the buzzer there. I put tape over it because it's really loud. <clears throat> so I have this thing set to Gentech synchronization. Um, I don't think I have it set to code 3. Switch 1, 3 is set to temporal coding. Actually, yeah, I do. But these Gentex ones don't listen to that and just do their own thing. It does stay synced, however. You can choose your synchronization here using... I'm so sorry for the focus. This is horrible. You can choose your synchronization for system sensor, system sensor Gentex, or Wheelock using this switch here. Currently, mine is set to Gentex. We'll enable zone 1 again. All right, so zone one is now enabled. You have walk test mode, the reset switch, alarm silence, acknowledge, and then all your different zone disables. Currently, I have everything hooked up to zone one. You have two NACs and then uh, three different zones. So without further ado, let's pull the station. We'll use the SIGCOM here. So we'll reset the pulse station. And now we'll go over here. We'll silence. Or I can, you don't have to acknowledge, you can just hit silence right away and it'll silence. So now since these are wired together, this is why trouble on a panel is important. If I pull this middle one here, you can see that ending one over there is dead. It's not showing trouble now. We'll pull it back in. You can hear that was the middle one chiming again. And then it received its code from the panel to silence. And this is all done two wire. Uh, operation two wires in two wires out to the next signal so this means everything all the coding for the silence command and synchronization for the chime and the strobe is done via the panel so plug this back in i think all two of these or three of these should chime now and then it'll silence again yep so now we'll go ahead and we'll give the panel a reset So it is going to start blinking, saying there's system trouble and power trouble. That is because I do not have a battery, so we'll acknowledge that. 
And now we'll watch what happens when I pull out this middle alarm here. You can see we get a system or a knack fault. And the system trouble light's blinking again. And as soon as I plug that back in, it goes away. So that is why troubles are important on alarm and that's how they work. Basically the supervisory current flows, this is horrible. Come on. Basically the supervisory circuit sends a current backwards through these alarms and it looks for the resistor. I have the resistor placed on this one right here. So at the very end of the line, which is why it's called an end of line resistor, you can see it there. Got the alarm tagged as well. And then the resistor for the first zone is on the bottom of this pole station. Now we'll go ahead and set it off using the MS2. So we'll reset. Reset that. And acknowledge will go straight for the reset. Well, oh, gotta acknowledge this. Alright, that is it. Thanks for watching. That is a quick overview of my Firelight MS2, or sorry, MS4 panel.